Hi, I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, get the balance of any SPL token um, of an address, so of a public key wallet, so on Solana. So like, uh, let's say you have a, a address here, uh, and you want to see how much of, uh, let's say, USDC do they own. This is, what, uh, this is what I'm going to show you how to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it using the blockchain API. So we'll go to um, docs.theblockchainapi.com. And then go to um, Solana Wallet and then get Wallet's balance in Sol or any SPL. Okay, and so this right here is the example we're going to use. This person, uh, this is not my wallet, I don't, I don't know whose it is, but uh, I mean, I do wish it was mine. It has 140 Sol in it. Um, and uh, they have a lot of different tokens here. And, um, but that, they, so they make for a great example. So, uh, yeah, so first is a, uh, you basically just have to uh, supply two things to this endpoint, the public key and the mint address. The network is going to be mainnet beta. And then the unit is only used for uh, when you're getting the soul balance. Um, so this endpoint can also be used for getting the soul ba the balance in soul. And so I'll show you how to do that, in which case you don't need to provide the mint, mint address. So uh, let's check out this example. We're going to do it in Python. So you're going to want to install uh, the blockchain API Python wrapper. And um, so let's see, uh, first, yeah, just go over here. And first, let's just install the Python wrapper. You can just do it there, or you can go down here if you're using PyCharm interpreter, set, interpreter settings uh, plus, uh, and then search up the blockchain API. Okay, so now that we have that installed, then let's click here, and it's uh, this is the example we're going to follow. And um, it's basically going to... Uh, yeah, and then ba basically you just go here. We have to get an API key for uh, this. So, yeah, so just go here, click uh, sign in. There'll be a little Google pop-up. Um, it's pretty easy. And then uh, then just create a new API key pair. Okay, and then we'll go here, just paste that in. Okay, and now we're, we're basically ready to go. Uh, let me just copy and paste this address. This is the address of the wallet we're going to mess around with. So um, let's just go, first we're going to say from the blockchain API, import the blockchain API resource, and then also import Solana network. So now resource equals the blockchain API resource, and then we have to initialize it with our API key pair. It's going to send this API key pair in every API call we make in order to authorize it with, for, with our account. Um, okay, so now... So now go resource, uh, get, so now we're going to say get NFT owner. Oops, sorry, get balance. Um, and first let's just start off with this public key. So the first thing is it has about 140 soul on mainnet. But if we just left it like this, it would automatically uh, by default use uh, devnet. So let's just see what it is on devnet really quick. Sure, it's not zero. Oh, yeah, it's actually zero. That's surprising. Okay, so um, now let's see what it is on mainnet. Okay, so it's about 140 soul. Okay, so now let's actually use um, let's actually use a mint address. So the mint address is a mint address for every SPL token, um, and uh, you can find a list of them here. Uh, it says list of SPL tokens, mint addresses, can be viewed here. Okay. Um, so you can basically just command F, let's say USDC. Um, that's Serum V3 USDC. Uh, maybe with like a call, like a in quotes, yeah. So there it is, and there's the address. Okay. So, um, yeah, okay. So let's copy from, from here and we'll get it down right over here. Uh, we also have this thing you can use too. So Solana mint addresses. So that will, we just have a few that are on here by default. Um, so you see that works, but it also just works if we just paste in the mint address as well. Okay, so really quick, I'm just gonna go over the output. Um, Every SPL token on Solana, and in, really in general, um, is not divisible below one. So there's, you know, just this sort of di 
de predefined amount of decimals. And so what you do is, you know, when you get, let's say, uh, you know, whatever it is, one Bitcoin, one in this case, USDC on Solana, uh, you know, it's actually, let's say, however many Satoshis or however many, uh, you know, USDC cents kind of, I guess. So USDC is divisible into 10 to the six. So this number divided by 10 to the six gets you 3.32, I guess, dollars or USDC. So um, that's all that means. In some cases, this won't appear for a few reasons, so don't rely on this particular one being here, but integer balance and balance will always uh, be returned when you're getting the balance of an SPL token. So now that we did that, let's just check another one. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, EcoPoo, um, I guess, uh, three, okay, so it matches that. And then also, let's see, this is, I think, a uh, an NFT. So let's see what this NFT looks like. So it's a balance of one, okay. It should be, yeah. Okay, because it's an NFT, so there can only be one, right? So that's why there's zero decimals, balance of one, and only one person can have one. So um, just one quick thing. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Um, one last thing is basically there is a, uh, I would not rely on this for determining NFT ownership just because this doesn't always return one, even if, um, even if, uh, the person owns it, it's sort of an edge case. Uh, it's basically a technical reason. So it could return zero, even if they own it. Um, so I actually just recommend just use, um, just use this endpoint, get owner of an NFT and compare it. So you get, you know, get the owner and then compare it to what you think the owner is and then just use that to determine uh, their you know, balance of the NFT. This is reliable, this will work, um, but for, for this specifically for NFTs, uh, you know, it's, not, it's not ideal. So just, just use this for SPL tokens mainly and soul balance. All right, thank you, appreciate it.